Heavy hearts and incredible emotion with the Mets and Marlins on Monday. A Jose Fernandez memorial was set up at the ballpark. All Marlins players wore the number 16 and Fernandez jerseys. Good friend D. Gordon overwhelmed with emotions. The Mets and the Marlins hugged before the game, including fellow countryman Joanna Cespedes. Giancarlo Stanton led the team in a speech on the mound where Jose once stood. Bottom one of a scoreless game, D. Gordon facing Bartolo Colon in one of the most memorable moments of this baseball season. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has. He's going to take this first pitch from the right-hand batter's box as a salute to Jose Fernandez. And I would guess that was Jose's helmet. Gordon to right. It's deep. And it's gone! D. Gordon has hit it out! And now gets to home plate, and he is overcome by emotion again. Look at the hugs in the Marlins dugout right now. Everybody crowded at the home plate side of the dugout around D. Wow! First of the year. Yep. And he's breaking down in the dugout. Yes. What a moment. Mets infield is back for this JT Real Muto at bat. Ground ball, Stanton comes home. Cabrera to first, and Real Muto's speed buys him a hit. And it's 2 0 Miami. And Chavaria right center field. Granderson going back. He's not going to get it. Bounces up over the wall and out of play. Four will score. Real Muto must go back to second. And Echeverria emotional as he arrives at second base. The pitch. And a swing and a ground ball up the middle. Base hit. D. Gordon makes it 5 to nothing. Marlins. This is really unbelievable. The way the Marlins have come out and taken this game to the Mets tonight truly is remarkable. An opportunity for the Mets. And Lucas Duda coming up. Breaking ball. Got him. How about that? Justin McGowan in. 1-0. Ground ball left side. Echeverria gathers it in. Throws to second for the force with Gordon covering. And the Mets strand three. D. Gordon hit a home run to lead off the game. Singled in the second. Beat out an infield hit in the fourth. He's three for three. D. Gordon has another hit. A four hit night for D. Gordon to honor his friend. He just pointed to the sky. When this game ends, Gap, for the players on the field, the emotions will run freely again, you can be sure. Here's the 2-2, and a ground ball to the right side. Stopped there by Rojas. He feeds Ramos, covering for the out and the ball game. And on the night that the team, the fans, the city, the state, and the nation honored Jose Fernandez, the Marlins have won the ball game. And a very emotional team goes out onto the field. The Marlins win the game by a 7-3 final. As you saw how the emotions overwhelmed D. Gordon at times during the game, he finishes four for five, driving in two. He homered and stole a base in the same game for just the second time in his career and had his ninth career game with four or more hits.